in our report, we have recommendations in six key areas. First, we think there needs to be a global set of principles and objectives for nuclear security that says, if I have a nuclear weapon or the materials needed to make one anywhere, it needs to be at least this secure. Second, once you have that kind of high-level commitment to a standard of excellence in nuclear security, you need to focus on the implementation. And there's a bunch of recommendations that are specifically about improving implementation of nuclear security on the ground at the nuclear facilities where it happens. But part of that has to do with international cooperation as well as things that happen within countries. And we recommend in particular a particular approach to rebuilding a different uh, kind of nuclear security cooperation with, between the United States and Russia, who are the two countries with the world's largest stockpiles in the world's largest number of places, and were cooperating quite closely until December of 2014. Third, it's essential to combat complacency. Complacency is the enemy of action. And we need to combat that complacency both at the policy level and within organizations. We talk about putting together a global database of incidents, uh, real incidents of nuclear theft, nuclear sabotage, uh, the kinds of things that adversaries have shown they are able to do, and the lessons learned that can allow us to prevent those kinds of incidents in the future. We talk about getting more countries to carry out realistic tests uh, where they show how well their security system really performs against intelligent adversaries trying to overcome it. Those can often counter the complacency that says, oh, my site couldn't possibly be vulnerable. Fourth, we really need to consolidate nuclear weapons and material to a smaller number of places. We've been doing that already. And in fact, more than half of all the countries in the world that once had highly enriched uranium or plutonium, the key potential nuclear weapons ingredients on their soil, have gotten rid of it completely. But there's more to be done. We need to expand the effort not only to focus on civil highly enriched uranium, where it's made the most progress, but to do more on reducing stocks of civil plutonium and having those stocks in a smaller number of places, uh, and to deal with consolidating military stocks further as well. Fifth, states need to do more to build confidence that they really have effective security in place. If there were a theft anywhere, it might affect someone on the other side of the planet because this nuclear material could be picked up and moved and used by terrorists somewhere else. So every country has an interest in making sure other countries are doing their job properly in securing these stockpiles. Finally, there is really a need after this summit, which will probably be the last one, to continue an effective dialogue on nuclear security. Uh, there are a number of different forums ranging from the International Atomic Energy Agency uh, to uh, voluntary groupings of states like the Global Initiative to Combat Nuclear Terrorism that could carry forward part of this dialogue. But there's a need to be able to meet at a high level and really make decisions that can be implemented uh, after we're no longer meeting at the very highest levels at the summit level anymore.